hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much you guys for all the love and support i constantly get on this channel i love you guys i appreciate you guys so much and i don't take your love for granted in any way and if this is your first time here hi welcome to my channel my name is karen and i'm based in the northern part of nigeria i film about faith lifestyle and inspiration so if you're interested in any of those please make sure you subscribe to my channel leave a comment down below let me know your thoughts on this video and please make sure you like this video if you enjoyed it and yes i always forget to tell you guys please subscribe to my channel it's totally free and click the notification bell after the subscribe button so that you can be notified whenever i post a new video please you guys just get me to 100 subscribers please 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 and more like we can go beyond that okay anyway thank you so much for the love so in today's video i'm quite excited about this one because i'm gonna be filming a story time <laughs> You guys, I'm so excited. I don't even know. So yes, I'm going to be filming a story time of my Nigerian boarding school experience. Okay? If you're interested in that, let's just jump straight into the video. The horror experience in second... from the first that was going to um boarding school you know i was so excited <laughs> that's a joke i was not excited i was like oh my god i don't know anybody here and i'm not really one of those people that know how to make friends easily so i was just like oh my god how am i going to do how am i going to cope here i should have known that that was going to be the least of my worries honestly i should have just known so anyway my sister um was in ss3 but in another school my eldest sister so she was in her final year in secondary school but in another school i was going to js1 in another school yeah oh let me just say this i went to a federal government college so shout out to all my pro unitate to all my fgc um what do we call ourselves if unity schools yeah shout out to you guys i'm here so the first day before i went to school my brother called me my elder brother called me he was saying kerry you know you're going to secondary school now you're going to be independent you don't have any siblings you don't have any friends yet so try your best to make friends um don't be rude to your seniors he, he advised me Sha, and i was just like what is this guy saying what are you saying bro i've been to primary body i'm an independent lady <laughs> jokes on me you guys jokes on me if you think primary body and a secondary body are the same thing <laughs> since wake up from your dreams it's not the same thing okay so anyway i went to school my mom and dad took me and i received the first shock of my life when i went and then they were like oh um my parents can't drive me to the hostel they have to keep me leave me at the administrative block and then my mates are going to help me pack my boxes to the hostel i was like when i went to primary boarding like my mom dropped me in the hotel i think she even helped me arrange my things that day. i can't i can't really remember at home so i was like anyway no problem so and then let me tell you guys we left home like by 8 a.m and i reached school and by the time we were done doing my clearance and all that it was already like let me just say 5 p.m so by the time we reached the hostel it was late and my parents left i waved them goodbye I went to the hostel now it's time to pick a room okay so let me just tell you guys you know federal government colleges like students used to be much used to be like about 1000 no jokes like 1000 students went to the hostel yeah in the school there are four hostels as at the time i was there there, there were four hostels and each hostel had four rooms now it's the school that will give you your hostel, but your hostel captain, who is in SS3, like I said, I explained to you guys that SS3 is the final year of the in secondary school in Nigeria. So the hostel captain is the one that will give you a room to stay. So let me just, I didn't resume on the resumption day, so we're like 10 people that resumed that day, or let me just say 9, let me just say 9, in my hostel. So when we went, the hostel captain, I said, okay, we should follow her, we went to the first room, and she was like, oh, there are new students, like, her mate should pick a bunk mate and all that because you needed to have a bunk mate like it's not individual bunks it was like up and down bunk yeah so ss3 were down bunk and then a junior student would be up bunk and then all of them were saying oh no we are full in our room we don't have space for any junior student but you know what let me just pick one person and then they picked somebody went to the next room the same thing happened went to room three room four the same thing you guys when i tell you they picked all the girls except me Ah <laughs> god please i was just like what I was the one, I was the only one left, like out of those girls, only me, nobody picked me. I was just like, 
what is going on here like i was just like why did they would give me a room so i kept on going round and round they kept on saying no 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 oh i forgot to tell you guys an interesting part so when we're going you know the, the school will give you a list of what to bring here yeah? and i was like you should bring a metallic box i don't know i'm going to fix a picture if i see it i'm going to put a picture so that you guys can see what that box looked like and mind you all my siblings were already in school when i got admission to go to secondary school so my elder sibling i said she was in ss she was in another school so she wasn't even there you know your siblings are going to be the one to hype tell your parents the things to buy like she needs something fancy because my sister obviously she's already in the system but now you guys i went with my mom so everything that was on the list she bought it you know parents now nigerian parents want to buy you everything that's on the list she bought those damn metallic box <laughs> i went to school with that box oh my god people were even laughing at me because i realized when i went to school most people didn't have it uh -uh. why was i the only one that had it when i was the only one that didn't have a room i was just like my god and it was already getting lit you guys and i said hey who have i offended in this world who have i offended so i now stay crying you guys because it was getting late and i didn't have a room i didn't have any friend so when it's when night comes now who will i sleep with where will i stay and i was just walking up and down with my boxes my clothes like new students now all my things were there close to me and for every room i'm moving to i have to carry all the boxes ah it was stressful i have to carry my boxes my bags my buckets everything i have to carry it and then they were like they were full i was just like hey olu wow so we now open up the crying. The hostel captain came. She was now talking to her mates that it's not fair. Why are they doing this? That the first time is coming, so she'll have picked me. I was like, <sighs> she now went and spoke to one of her mates, and her mates now said, okay, I can stay with her. So I packed my boxes, went there, arranged everything. She now said, okay, it's time to bath. I'm like, oh yeah, sure. <laughs> you guys know that joss is cold and um, me the primary body we used to bath with hot water now so i was thinking oh okay so where's the hot water like where am i going to come collect my hot water to bath she was like drag a bucket from under the bed a bucket of water from under the bed and you guys know joss is cold this water was hey she now said okay let's go outside i, I was that one was not even a shock until i went out i was like okay sorry please where is the bathroom she said you're bathing here on the corridor where people were passing mid day i was like please where i come from i didn't say it loud obviously in my mind i'm like where i come from people have their bats in the bathroom why am i batting outside just like remove your towel and bat jesus you <laughs> i removed my towel i was like oh my god i was now hesitating before i knew before i could even say jack robin see this girl had carried a bucket of water put it on my body i was like wow karen welcome welcome to boarding house i was like you say what is this my life am i going to continue no ss3 students now they used to feel seniors blah 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 oh let me tell you guys i have five elder siblings here yeah? all of them i think the oldest is older than me with like 14 or 15 years that's how old I, they are I don't call any of them uncle or auntie and none of them have flogged me before so you know i, I was i was more spoiled but i don't like uncle auntie Tell me why in boarding school, even if the person is your age mate but is in a class higher than you, you have to call the person senior. I was like, so you have to call everybody senior. Now I was in JS1, so I had to call JS2, JS3, even though there was no JS2, JS3 at the time in my school. So I have to call SS1, SS2, SS3 senior, even if they were like my age mates. I was like, ooh. And you have to greet them like you have to greet them morning after night like are you mad to even pass your senior without greeting them like hey you're in for it so you know ss3 they were the oldest class and then they were just like yes we now have juniors so they now said oh it's come this call for a general assembly i don't know what to call it they'll call you guys they'll now be giving you guys rules regulations when you see your senior you greet them when you see my baba you greet them in the morning even if you pass your senior 50 times you greet your senior 50 times i was like whoa <laughs> primary body we don't do that okay we don't do any of that and in my primary when i was the primary body there was like just one just two just three but we didn't used to do all those things tell me why you guys are telling me i should reach my senior 15 times even if i should pass her i was like whoa they were like see if you see me walking you run if you see me running you fly if you see me flying you evaporate if you see me evaporating you condense <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> what is going on here? Please, can somebody play this to me? What is happening? So, yeah, after they gave us the rules, they said, you greet us, call your, you, how you better greet your seniors, you better do this, better do that. You guys, we stood for how many hours that they were giving us rules and regulations? Hmm. 
where we wake up very early like this they, those children were brutal they were wicked you're going to um the type of punishment they used to give us you're going to pump you know squads people do nowadays to get boards <laughs> Th th that was legit a punishment like you hold your ears go up go down these squads people do like i'm trying to get but no guys it was punishment and that was like my worst punishment you guys i told you guys the house i come from nobody used to flog me i'm primary body nobody flogs me except teachers so like i was just except my parents obviously because my parents used to flog me but then i i, I hate kin so much i hate kin i hate punishment like anything that has to do with somebody touching me i hate it so when they start squats carrie used to be the first oh we call it pumping carrie used to be the first person to start crying hey i used to cry so much if they flog us you guys these people will soak hangers inside water and flog us with it i'm not joking no jokes they will soak hanger in water and flog us with it on your butts behind your legs on that on the sole of your foot on your palm you if you didn't even go to boarding school you don't even know how you're enjoying anyway i have to say that there are two boarding schools me i didn't go to a two boarding school now my immediate elder sister can maybe give you guys a gist of how their school was but my own school nope hey i used to be like why didn't i just go to my sister's school why didn't i just go to my anyway my elder sister was one that told me not to come because obviously I don't see, I've never seen any school where the elder sister is excited to have her younger sister come to the school because they're always like, this school is not good for you, go to a better school. But at least if I should have gone to my sister's school, you know, she would treat me well now because my mates that knew somebody in SSG, they were chilling, they were living the life, like they don't punish them, it's we that didn't know anybody that they used to punish, like when they haven't punishing us, their sisters or whoever they knew in SSG would even come and save them. Yo, I was wishing for that luxury, but I never had it, still I graduated. <laughs> And I never had any school mother. I only had a bunk mate. So you guys, they used to make us pump. They used to make us frog jump. Like for the slightest, the the gist. One day I was coming. We're coming back from prep now, and prep is just like preparatory class. So we come back from prep. We're now going back to the hostel, and prep ends by 9:20 for girls. So we're going back to the hostel or dormitory. We call it dormitory. We're going back to the dormitory from from prep. And then you guys, guess what? I saw everybody running back. I was like, what's going on? Why is everybody running back? Everybody was just running back, running back. I said, ah, what is happening here? We now, I know if you didn't go to boarding school, you'd be like, okay, so what's the seeing a cat in the hostel? You guys, apparently, in boarding schools, cats were agents of witches and wizards. So cats were the ones manifesting. <laughs> they were manifesting the activities of witches and wizards. Hey, everybody was now running, running back. I was like, Kini Bobo Elegi, what is all this? In primary school, we had nothing like that. Obviously, I know that there are a lot of witches, wizards, cultism in schools, but in primary school, it wasn't that rampant. So everybody was running back. We ran back to the outside. Our hostel mistress came and said, we should better go back inside because we locked us. We went inside. They called for prayers. You guys seen and binding demons out. Lord, and you know, they called only junior students, it was only junior students that were praying, like senior students, I don't know if them, they cannot be witches, they now stated, I, before I knew it, before I could even say what, I just saw what senior coming with broomstick, I was like, okay, what is going on here, they now said that they were going to flog us with the broom, that if you're a witch, you're going to cry, you guys, witches and wizards don't like broomstick, like if you flog them with broomstick, then you confess, or what, I don't even know the ideology, I don't know, you guys remember me telling you guys I hate Kane and I cry easily. Well, this is where it betrayed me because as they flogged me, I started crying. She's a witch! She's a witch! You guys, because I didn't even know anybody, they started shouting that I'm a witch. I should better confess. When did I join? All this just one girl said, all this just one girl. So you guys came with your witchcraft there. Eh? Better go and tell them you did not see me. Tell them my blood is bitter. Tell them my meat is strong. You didn't see me. I was like, what is going on here? What is going on here? They started casting and binding me. I'm not joking, no, no jokes. This thing was serious. Not even like you're a witch joke play. Like they were serious. They started casting and binding. You better confess. I was just crying that day. I was crying. I cried my eyes out. My eyes were red. Blood shots red. I was just crying. I was like, if I was at home, nobody in my life have ever accused me of being a witch. I've gone to primary body and I was never like those were things that you could not associate me with. I was just like, what have I done? These seniors gathered me. They were just talking. I saw the cat flying from bed to bed. Say, hey, she's the witch. This you better confess now, you guys. I was just crying. Before I knew it, one senior came and dragged me. She was like, 
Just confess. When did you join? Just confess. We are just trying to help you. I was like, I'm not a bitch. I'm not a bitch. She was like, you're not ready to confess. And then you guys, my bunkmate, my new bunkmate was one of those chapel executives, escorts. So everybody was like, you, look at your bunkmate, he's even a chapel person, blah, blah, blah. I was like, I'm not a witch. My mother have never accused me of being a witch. Please, I'm not a witch, senior. She said, you're a witch. That tomorrow we are taking you for deliverance. We are going to the chapel. We are taking you to the chapel. Please, they are going to deliver you. I was like, please, senior. Like, how can they ruin my reputation like that? I was not, I was just like, what is going on here for the love of Jehovah? What is happening? Hey, I was like, if I was in my sister's school now, would anybody be accusing me that I was a witch? Obviously, my sister would save me because those that they had sisters, they weren't even joining us for the prayers. It was we that we, we didn't know anybody that we were praying. I was like, God of mercy, please save your child. I was crying that I cried my eyes out. Hey, I was just crying. I was like, senior, I'm not a witch. I'm not a witch. I'm not a witch. So it was, what, it, it, it was not only me they accused of being a witch. We were two. Out of the multitudes that were there, we were two. The other girl, she's like one of those people that, shout out to you, baby girl. <laughs> I'm sure she watches my video. She was one of those people that used to defend themselves. She was like, I'm not a witch. Don't call me a witch. Me. That was not even confrontational at that age. After my brother had warned me that I should respect myself, will I now come and be shouting that I'm not a witch? I was just crying. I was like, I'm not a witch. I'm not a witch. Please, I'm not a witch. They were like, she's a witch. The other girl was there shouting, defending herself. Me, who am I to defend myself? We later became friends. Yeah. I mean, we were even already friends. So they were like, she people told you are friends. That's how you guys joined that. Be who initiated who? I was like, hey, nobody initiated me. Me, I'm not a witch. I don't know about her, but I'm not a witch. You guys, please save me. Yo, when I tell you guys that my reputation was ruined, it was ruined. Like, from that day, people see me. Look at the witch now. Like, my seniors, oh, till, and then you know, there was SS1, SS2, SS3. Till those sets graduated, my mind, because who was going to be a friend to a witch? I was just 10 or 11 for crying out loud. Why would you accuse me this way? Why would you accuse a child that way that she was a witch? And I was telling these girls, I was not a witch. I was just crying my eyes out. I was like, I'm not a witch. Please, please. They said, Nope, she's a witch. Yo, you guys, I had to deal with that stigma of being a witch. I like one of the one of the girls that accused me. She she made my life a living hell. Till she graduated, my life was a living hell. I remember one day I applied lipstick in just one. All these things were happening in just one. I applied lipstick. She was like, "Come here. What is that on your lips? You haven't applied lipstick. Look at you. You look like a dog. Clean your lips on the wall, my friend." I cleaned my lips on the wall. You guys, if you guys watch Laifa Beauty. You see the way she was saying that in secondary school, her seniors used to call her and to her face tell her she's ugly. I was just like, story of my life, sis, story of my life. Do these girls would be like, look at the ugly thing. And you know, I don't understand how kids could be so mean. Because for the most part, how old was the oldest person that time? I'm sure the oldest person was not even up to 20 years old among her seniors. But how could they have such evil in their hearts? It's, it's bothered on a staircase or sitting out somewhere you want to pass. Are you mad? I remember the first time I went. So like the next day, one of my seniors was sweeping the room and I came and passed. She was like, you're mad. I'm sweeping and you're passing. So you're not meant to pass when they are sweeping. You just, she told me, just lie down there, lie down on the floor. That's how I laid down on the floor. Till she finished sweeping. She even swept on me. I was like, my God of mercy. What is all this? What is all this? What is all this? All I asked for was to come to school for the sake of God. Take is now. I was JJC up to the same. JJC means Jolly just come for those who don't know. And I was now coming to pass. They were like, Are you stupid? Jump down, my friend. Lie down inside the gutter. There was a gutter there. You guys, that gutter. People used to pee. People used to pee and do all sorts of nonsense. They all manner of nonsense in that gutter. They made me lie down there. You guys see my face? Let me see. Green. Jesus Christ of mercy. It was horrible. Though. It was no like when I tell you guys secondary school boarding house experiences, it was just the worst. I was like, I can't deal, I can't do this anymore. I came home, I was telling my mom because I've lived with my siblings. I'm one of the, those people that I learned from my siblings. Most of the things I do, I know of my siblings' school because they came and complained to my parents that seniors were bullying them. So I was thinking, if none of my siblings they did change any of their school, why would my own kids be different now? Why would my own kids be different? You guys, then my sister, every time from school, she saw me with that box, she was like. Karen, you see the box she went to school with? I was like, yes. She said, nope. She was like, she, she was laughing at her genius. Because <laughs> they do, took that type of box to school. Then me, her younger sister, I'm that box. She told my dad that I can't go back to school with that box, so they should buy me Echo Lag. I'm not going back with that box. 
I'm going to insert the picture. But body house was just so mean. Like seniors were mean. You guys, they will punish you from morning till night. They didn't even care. They would just do all manner of rubbish. They they were just maltreating us. I just I was most times. Eh, I just used to sit down and cry. I'm sure they accused me that I was a witch. You guys, my comfort was in my pain and my paper. I was always pouring out my heart because I didn't have any friends to talk to. I would just write down on the paper, dear diary, witch. And today I just realized that a good name is better than riches. Because honestly, like, honestly, though, I'm a witch. Have you seen me before? Have you seen me in your dream? Like, if I was actually a witch, didn't they think I was going to torment them? For you even telling me I'm a witch, I would have tormented them now. These girls, they, they weren't carrying it too. That's how I had to deal with that stigma of being a witch till I graduated. Like, up to now, I, I just feel like I treat other people better. It made me treat other because I can know. But you know, in both, I'm getting better. Even if it gets better, Sha, I don't think in my life I'll ever take my child to boarding school because of the emotional, psychological, all the things I had to deal with in boarding school. Towards the end of my talk with my friends, and I'm like, why do you even think parents? Because some parents take their children to boarding school because they feel like the children are too stubborn. So let me take you to boarding school, let them go and punish you. But you don't know it's hardening the person's hard self. I'm, I've, reached, I've come to a preaching session. Yes, I'm going to preach, okay? Because it'll be like, oh, boarding school makes the child to be better. No, it doesn't make the child to be better. Some people will say it makes somebody to be independent. No. If you have that mentality that body school makes somebody to be independent, I'm sorry for you. Because it doesn't. I have an elder brother who didn't go to body school. And guess what? He's more than independent. He's, if there's any word that is more than independent, that's what my brother is like. I'm not even joking. Like, he's one of those people that have lived in school, make me independent too. Because he didn't. My brother is very independent. Shout out to you, brother. Because I'm not. Because I know he's gonna wild out to you. He's very independent. So don't tell me that body school makes a child independent or it makes a child to be disciplined. My brother is disciplined. He's very disciplined, so don't tell me all that. Oh, it helps the child. I've seen people that went to body school and they still behave like pap. <laughs> Give me, but they still behave very people independent. No, it doesn't. Honestly, Shad, to round this whole story, taking your child to boarding school is what will help you discipline your child. Ah, you're in a long thing, no. You're on a long thing. You're in a, on a very... Please let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. Let me know if you guys want a part two, okay? There will be a part two if you guys request for it, and I'll be doing it with somebody. So let me know. And yes, if there's going to be a part two, please, let's get this channel to 100 subscribers and... 50 likes. 50 likes is not even too much. Let's get this channel to 100 subscribers and 50 likes and I'm going to do a part 2 of this story time. So thank you so much guys for watching the video. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Please. Please. Just help me. Help me subscribe. Let's move this ministry to the pies for watching the video and I hope you subscribe and like this video. Turn on the notification bell so that you know whenever I post a new video, you can watch it. And make sure you share it with your friends, your family, all those people that are thinking they want to take their children to boarding school. It can make your child wayward, though. Let me just say, it can make your child wayward. Boarding school. Hmm. So, yes, thank you so much, guys, for watching. I love you all so much. Stay blessed. Stay happy. Stay safe. Remember to be kind to somebody because you don't know where you meet people. Though. Uh, soon. Sooner than you all expect.